you provided the atmosphere for this event. Well, these are all images from my films. Valentino approached me, so I said yes, because I've always been friends of fashion. The legendary underground filmmaker Kenneth Anger provided the atmosphere for the latest Valentino show with some of his movies, but what did they have to do with the clothes? The space is kind of elegant, but the installations are, are kind of dangerous. But we wanted to describe this girl with the delicate dresses, with something dangerous inside. These designers have taken a bit of a rap for mutating the Valentino DNA. I do think that it was interesting to see them go back a little bit, maybe. Well, I think it's really important to remember the Valentino woman and who she is. She's not an old lady, that's not what anyone's asking for, but they are asking for someone who's a rich woman. I did really recognize uh, all the DNA of the house, but done with a very modern hand. Everything kept the fragility and the softness of Valentino. So you talk about this um, contrast between the norm and transgression. In the cocktail dress there were leather, but you don't feel that it's leather. It's kind of chiffon meets leather. It's kind of secret. This show had a lot more day wear than they've had in the past few shows. I mean, even if there's a ruffle on the jacket, it's made of wool crepe. So these things, if you pair it with the right underpinning and skirt, you can definitely, I think, wear it from day into evening. Nice to see the red, too. Yeah, I think that there is a kind of appeal without being too much frill. It's important to think about what women want. We wanted to give this three-dimensional and to, to feel the beautiness inside. The women don't want to say what they think. And so I think this woman is a modern. <laughs>